everybody. Welcome back to... Hello. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another um, episode of the Action Figure Geek. And today, we are going to be looking at this box of pretty much all Batman characters. This is a nice little exciting video I've been wanting to do for, for a little while. This is not all my Batman figures, but it's mainly just Batman and Batman-related characters. Not really any other DC characters besides them. So we're going to take a look at this. I'm real excited for this video. And uh, we also will unbox this New 52 Batman figure in the action figure. So excited for that. So let's dig in. So we start off first, kind of weird. Well, Katana's not a weird character, but this version of her is just, yeah, not, not great. But anyway, we have the um, Suicide Squad 2016 Katana figure. You can see her face. Um, one of the worst, the worst movie kind of, like, introductions for a character of all time, definitely, um, but, uh, she's an okay figure, um, for Mattel, it's fine, so, I used to kind of like the, uh, these kind of ones, but they're, they're not my favorite, <laughs> and yeah, so she is a Batman character, technically, so I will include her. Next, we have a McFarland Batman figure, this is from the Batman comic, The White Knight, which by by today, by now, it is considered a great Batman story. I never read it. If you recommend it, please let me know in the comment section below. But uh, this Batman figure does kind of make me want to read it a little bit because I do like, the, I do dig this cartoony look for kind of Batman. I kind of like it. The detail in this guy is pretty good for one of the earlier McFarlane figures because most of the early ones were absolutely garbage. So, nice. Just interesting design. Um, interesting bats. Well, pretty thing, so. Yeah, just interesting design choices, like the fact that his boots are really, like, long up. Has black gloves. You know. Next up, we have a um, Arkham game figure. This is the Arkham City Robin figure. I got this figure in a pack, which is bent on the Arkham City DLC, the Harley Quinn one. So this is really cool. I actually kind of like this Robin design. This is Tim Drake, I can definitely tell. But yeah, it's really cool. Um, not the best articulated, because it's DC Direct. And, you know, originally during the early 2000s, late 2000s, their figures weren't really that great and articulated. But, um, yeah. Um, I do have quite a bit of DC Direct. I think I have some of the, yeah, just Justice ones. So, yeah, he's pretty nice design choice. Uh, it's probably the best figure of this design ever made. So, okay. And then we have, um, okay, so this is a newer figure. This is from the Titans build a figure, like Rebirth Beast Boy build a figure wave. I never completed that wave. But I was able to get some of the figures from it. Uh, and, and Nightwing is one of them. And this is kind of a reverse style. The gray suit, obviously, has the blue mask on. Um, very reverse style outfit. And very good body choice. I like the body that they used for it. And, you know, so. But I had to do something about his hair. Because, like, it was in the middle, in the way of his face. So I had to, as you can see, it kind of messed with that. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, decent Nightwing. You definitely get some very aerodynamic, kind of acrobatic poses with this guy. Yeah, that's cool. Um, a decent Nightwing figure. Pretty cool. Okay. Next up, we have another Batman figure. This is like the Katana figurine. This one's from the Suicide Squad and it's part of Mattel's DC Multiverse line. And this is the Ben Affleck Batman figure. So, doesn't look that good. So, um, this figure is not that good. Um, it's decent. The face likeness is okay. The bat symbol's there. Belt there, nice and down with the bat symbol belt. But the rest of the figure is just not that great. The proportions are kind of weird especially with the legs, so 
but it's an okay Batman figure. Um, worth the time, it was kind of good, but yeah, it was the cape. So, mm -hmm. okay. Next up, we have a early 2000s. So this is before the DC superheroes line, and way before the DC Universe Classics line. So this is. When Mattel started with DC, they started with the 2004 Batman line. This is one of the figures from it. Now, you may, some people may say it's kind of a kid's line, but I say it's still an adult collector's line, even though they gave us a lot of weird variants for Batman that normally a kid's Batman line would give us. So this is one of the variants. And um, what I mean by it's kind of adult collector, I mean, look at the face, Bob. It's really good. And um, just it does have, it's on the scale of adult collectors. Has um kind of DC Direct kind of articulation you can see, but for the time it was pretty great actually, but it, by today the articulation is absolutely terrible, but um yeah it's still a, a good Batman figure, it's not this version though. And they also did do some villains too, so here we're gonna pick up the Joker from that line too. And this figure is might be like one of the worst Joker figures of all time in terms of proportions, articulation, but for sculpt it's pretty good. That's what I meant. So here's the Joker. Um, like I said, his articulation is absolutely terrible, but his sculpt is pretty great though. I kind of like his sculpt. Let's see if you can get some focus there. Here, I might need to, let me just fix this real quick. So, yeah, that's the face goal. Pretty decent. And he also did come with, like, a little cape. So, interesting. So, three. Now, we get into another multiverse. This is, I believe, McFarland's first attempt out of a 7-inch, pretty well articulated Batman. And I didn't say I would say they did not start off very strong with this one. So this is Batman. From Sam. So this is a Detective Comics 1000 Batman. Um, you know. <laughs> yeah, this Batman figure is just not that great. His cape isn't good. I mean, it's okay, but it's not like fantastic. Thing. I might even put in the camera. Like, this. The face sculpt is like, uh, yeah, it just wasn't a great. But the articulation was spot on, though. I will say. Anyway, next up we have is a uh, one based off of um, this figure is based off. Here, I just have to grab it. It's based off the Gotham Knights video game, which I. So, and this is the Tim Drake Robin, which is a realistic looking design with side eyes. Yeah, McFarlane's side eyes. This figure, the design is really, I actually really like this design. I don't know, something about it, I just like. Maybe not this little stuff on the back, but really nice design. But that face sculpt, it's good, it's well sculpted, but the eyes, oh my goodness. But uh, yeah, this is one of the only Gotham Knights figures I did pick up. I picked up a, a couple of them because I really liked how they looked in the game. And I think I think the game is great too. Honestly, I really like the game. So why not pick up the figures? And I also did pick up Nightwing. Well, because he was my favorite character at the time. So Dick Grayson. Kind of pale skin tone, I guess you could say it wasn't really bad. So uh, that's the hair. Oh, I do have my stuff on. So uh, yeah, well, interesting outfit. I kind of like it. Now I will say this is yeah, this is my problem here. It is really great that he does have the little holders, but there is another video game nightmare design that I like a bit more, and that is the Arkham City one. And this figure is by DC Direct, and it may be my favorite nightmare. Come on, focus. 
Ah, oh, really focus. I'm gonna tell you this night right here. It's just really cool. Anyway, um, he also does have holders, so you can put his um thing in the thing. And then yeah, this figure sculpting is just really not that good articulation, but still great figure. Absolutely love him. Okay. Next up, we have a 12 inch. I hope this fits in the camera. Yeah, it does. But we'll look at the camera. A 12 inch Batman figure from Batman vs. Superman. And this figure has a good articulation for this type of figure, but the design but this the cape I, this is just the worst thing in the world. Oh no. The box fell. Oops. So here's the Batman figure. So yeah, good articulation for this Batman figure. Good sculpt. So yeah. Now to the last figure in the box and then we'll look at the um uh, figure that I got. Alright, now we're going to look at the last figure in the box, and then we're going to be looking at the inbox figures, like in the package. So, and the last one is a animated style figure from an animated movie, part of the DC animated movie universe. This is Deathstroke. And this is a pretty cool Deathstroke, interesting design. So yeah, this is based off the movie Batman and uh, Son of Batman, which is based off, which the movie is based off the comic Batman and Son, which I've read. It's pretty good. Um, space Cop is nice. The little gun in the holster, which is not unusual. And a pretty good Deathstroke figure. Interesting design. Obviously kind of cartoony, so it might not fit in all player displays, but decent one. Um, obviously, as you know, DC collectible, not very good articulation, but definitely makes up for that in the skull. Details. Um, yeah, pretty good. I don't really have any complaints. This is probably one of the better. I I know I've watched reviews like of the Justice League War and the Throne of Atlantis DC animated um, figures that they made. If they were really crappy, but this one looks good. This is the only one I picked up. But a lot of them are kind of expensive now. But yeah, that's that one. And now we're gonna unbox this figure so we're gonna kind of do like a mini review of these things so yeah let's unbox them so now let's take a look at the new 52 Jim Lee style Batman figure which I was able to which I just got from my DC action figure vault so here's the package it came in so um yep I had this figure for like a few years okay now let's a look at it. Okay, not that well, like, articulated right off the bat, but well sculpted. Definitely and faithful to the source material. I honestly don't, not the biggest fan of design. I like the costume, but I was never a big fan of the little lines that go through every, everyone's outfit pretty much in the new 52, it seemed like. But the cape I kind of like because it kind of, um, it kind of like, it's kind of, when you try to stand them up, it kind of like, you know, you know what I mean. I like the cape. So let's take a look at the face sculpt. That's a great face sculpt. I love it. Definitely um, represents Jimmy's artwork pretty well. And, uh, yeah, like I said, you can't get this figure to great poses. I mean, you can do a little bit with the figure. You can make him look good on your shelf. Like this. So, but, yeah, that's just that figure. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review um, and this little uh, unboxing and um, just look at a couple action figures that I was able to take away, take out from my DC action figure phone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!